Hi, I'm Matt with PineCard.com, and in this video I'm going to be introducing one of the PineCard precision tools that's going to give you extremely accurate results when it comes to wheel tuning. Now due to manufacturing processes, some of your wheels in your car may be lacking in a little performance. Possibly they have some wheel hop or wheel wobble, or maybe you have excessive friction built up in between the inner rim and the center rail itself. Well today we're going to address these problems and make these wheels as true and as smooth as we possibly can by introducing one of the Pine Car Precision Tools, the Wheel Lathe. Now this is going to shave all those high points for truly round wheels and in turn make all wheels equal in size. It's also going to reduce that friction I talked about by shaving the inner rim. And as with all Pine Car Precision Tools, it's CNC machine and what that tells me is I'm getting a very high quality and precise tool. It's also important to note that this tool is designed to work in conjunction with the Total Hub Shaper. Now before we use our wheel lathe, we want to make sure that we take the time to clean up the hubs on the inside of our wheels. Now to do so, just follow the instructions on your Total Hub Shaper, and once that job is complete, we can now turn our focus to the wheel lathe. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, to square up those inner rims, set up the wheel lathe by sliding the squaring end of your hub tool through the hole of the wheel lathe till approximately 1 and 1 16th of an inch is exposed. At this point, tighten in position with the Allen wrench provided. By twisting the blade adjustment knob, fully extend the blade. Slide the wheel onto the pin with the wheel's inner rim facing the lathe itself. By holding the tool in your left hand, press the wheel against the blade and rotate that wheel counterclockwise five complete turns. Now repeat these steps on all the wheels to true up and square inner rims. Alright, now we're going to be moving our attention to the actual tread of the wheel where we're going to be removing all the high spots so we can achieve a very smooth and round surface. Start by adjusting the hub tool until one half inch is exposed and then retighten. Slide the wheel onto the tool pin with inner rim facing the lathe and at that point the wheel should be centered under the blade. Now before we start shaving the wheel, I actually want to identify all my high points on my wheel itself. Now to do so, I'm just going to simply lower the blade down approximately 1 seconds of an inch above that wheel tread, and after rotating that wheel several times, I'll be able to identify the high point of the wheel itself. Now being sure not to adjust the blade, repeat the process on remaining three wheels. Now once all the high points have been determined on your wheels, go ahead and mark each wheel one through four. Now the number one is going to represent the wheel with the highest high point, and the number four is going to represent the wheel with the lowest high point. At this point, we want to go ahead and start with the number one wheel and work our way down. Start by rotating the wheel counterclockwise five full rotations or until all high areas have been removed. If everything is set properly, the blade should be removing small amounts of material off the tread of the wheel. Replace the number one wheel with the wheel two by loosening the hub tool and sliding out from underneath the blade. It is very critical at this point not to adjust the blade for the remaining wheels. Once the number two wheel is placed on the pin, slide the tool back into position and retighten. Repeat this process for the remaining two wheels. Now this entire process may have to be repeated several times until you can get all your high spots and low spots even in your wheels equally round. Now I like to finish up my wheels by polishing them on a pine car wheel mandrel using the pine car micro polishing system. This is going to ensure me my wheels are in peak condition and ready for the racetrack. Now that your wheels are round and true, you can now turn your attention to other performance improvements to your car. To learn more about Wheel Truen or any other Pine Car Precision Tool, visit us at PineCar.com.